Hi there, this is Kira Leslie with Debunking Addiction for HealthyPlace.com. So the holidays, we are in the thick of them. Um, we've still got a, a couple more big ones. Um, and even though it's a time of year that I really enjoy and I really love, at the same time it also brings with it a lot of stressors and some of those are obligations, like family obligations and um, work or social obligations. Uh, so it's important as a person in recovery to maintain our emotional sobriety as well and I think one of my biggest stressors is over the holidays I'm always afraid I'm going to disappoint people whether it's that I'm going to disappoint them because I don't have the right present for them or because I'm trying to be in two places at once particularly if it's an um, event where you know maybe your in-laws are in one city and your, your parents are in another city or you have competing obligations and um, that is something that always stresses me out and I get stressed out about it probably a, a couple months early not knowing what I'm going to do on a, on a particular day or not having my presence situated and so I'm trying and, and I've really um, kind of mucked things up in the past sometimes um, by over committing myself and really I just ended up kinda disappointing everybody <laughs> and um, you know, I did maintain my sobriety, but it was uh, it wasn't very fun. And so I'm trying to remember. I think this is my my ninth. Um, thankfully, it's my ninth holiday season in sobriety, and I'm trying to keep realistic expectations. I do love this time of year, and I don't want it to be ruined for me by anxiety and stress. And so I'm I'm trying to remember um, the meaning of the season. Now, this season has different meanings for different people, but I I it's it's probably not really about presence and, and stress for, for anyone um, at heart. And so I'm trying to remember the meaning of the season and, and the positive things, uh, such as if I have competing obligations, that's really a blessing, something to be grateful for, because I have uh, two different places that I, that I could be. Um, and I think that people, generally speaking, understand that there's a lot going on this time of year, so I'm trying to keep my expectations of myself and my capabilities realistic and um, just manage to keep obligations that I say I'm going to do and not say I'm going to do things that I can't do. And at the same time, as a person in recovery, it's important to me to also address situations. So if I can't do something or if I made a mistake or if I hurt someone's feelings as a result, remember, it's not the end of the world. I don't need to drink over it and um, try to do what I can to, to make things right in those situations and tell people if I'm not going to, going to be able to, to make it to something or if I'm not going to be able to get them a Christmas present. I think being upfront and trying to keep your side of the street clean and having realistic expectations are some of the keys to having a happy holiday season, and I hope you, you all do have one.